Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's video because today's video is going to be a top five video talking all about drugstore lip glosses. I love lip gloss. I have a lot of drugstore and a lot of high-end lip glosses. So these ones are my tops, the ones that I go for the most, okay? And I know it's very difficult to wear lip gloss while you're wearing a mask. I do have some that are a little bit more nourishing treatment-y and then a little bit more glossy glossy kind and I'm gonna go ahead and show you them on my lips as well so you can see the color pigmentation the amount of gloss and all of that good stuff if that sounds like your kind of video go ahead and subscribe to mine I did already do a top five high-end lip glosses video I will link that here if you would like to see that but if you are ready to see my top five affordable lip glosses then just keep watching all right <clears throat> so I I don't necessarily have like a number one and a number five. Like I'm not gonna put these in any kind of order that way because these each kind of do a different thing for me. Um, so I'm gonna describe like what they're like as well as show you and then you'll be able to decide, decide based on your needs for a lip gloss. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about, I think this is probably the oldest one in my collection out of the ones I have here. And that is the Wet n Wild Chic Got Real, the Liquid Cat Suit, the High Shine Lipstick. So they call this a High Shine Lipstick, but it really truly reminds me of a dupe for the Dose of Colors lip glosses. It is a pigmented gloss and it does have color. So I get why they call it a what are they called? High Shine Lipstick because it does have so much payoff. Um, I'll show you there. Um, but it is, it feels more like a lip gloss. It acts more lip, like a lip gloss in my opinion. So I don't like to call it a lipstick. So I really like this because it is super easy to have with you throughout the day and it just be your lip color that's really comfortable. I know sometimes lipsticks and liquid lipsticks can be uncomfortable or a little bit harder to know how they're being on your lips without you looking in the mirror where a lip gloss is a little bit easier I know that this color might seem like a lot for a lip gloss but I don't notice it getting all over obviously if you're wearing a mask it might be a different story um, but I'm just thinking of like wearing this without a mask <laughs> in regular times, not unprecedented times, you know? I really love this. Um, this one's my favorite shade. I do have Send Nudes or Sand Nudes um, as well, but that one's just a little bit too like uh, concealer lips for me. This has a better color for my lip color, I think. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This one took the internet by storm last year and it's such a good gloss. I love the huge doe foot applicator. I love this color specifically, which is ice. It gives a little hint of a pink to the lips, but it is more of like on the lines of clear. I did pick up another shade. I picked up Reef and I really like that one as well, but it is more pigmented. I like the clear version of this better because this is so nourishing on the lips. I don't know how to describe it to you. It's so comforting and comfortable, but it still gives you a really beautiful uh, shine to the lips. I really, 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 see you can barely even tell that it's like there's no color there, you know? Um, I really, really like this um, formula a lot, especially like, it's just, I don't know, it's just so good. And it does look good over lipsticks as well. It, it's, it's the perfect like middle ground. Also, by the way, none of these are sticky. I do not like sticky lip glosses. I do not like when I go and I get that stick to it. I don't like when it's too gloopy and I get like dragging on my lips. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't like that either. So just know that I'm not gonna be saying that, but none of these are that um, if you're worried about that. All right, and another um, kind of colored one I have here is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. I've got the shade Wild Rose. I really like this color. If you can't tell, it's really similar to that color. I really like this kind of color. That's not, it's a little bit more cool than most like neutral pinks. 
you know, usually they're a little bit more warm. Um, this one just has a basic little doe foot um, applicator. This one is creamier. It feels, cre it is more of like a sheer than this one. Um, and it has, as you can see, the same high shine um, as the Maybelline one, but it just feels a little bit like creamier. <laughs> I don't know I feel like there needs to be a scale that I'm not aware of yet so it's like some lip glosses feel like an oil some feel like a gel and some feel creamy and I'm not sure what that creamy thing is like oil I can understand gel I can understand but the creamy I don't know what that is but I would say this is more on the creamy side and this is more on the gel side and this is more on the creamy side um, so this one feels a little bit heavier on the lips than the lifter gloss, but this one is like a gel bouncy, like plumps your lips and makes them look really great. Whereas this is more creamy. <laughs> All right. The next two I have here are just two different colors of the same one. I couldn't pick one. <laughs> Um, and these are ColourPop's glosses. Now, these are the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration colors, so I don't know if they sell these specific colors anymore, um, but I do really like both the colored lip gloss, which I think is Wild Wildflower. It is, uh, the doe foot is more like the Maybelline one. Um, and it is, it, you know, it does feel more like the Maybelline one. It's like, a gel that feels really nourishing. And then this one right here in Glacier, I personally think I might say Glacier is my favorite because it does have so many tiny particles in it that make it look so juicy on the lips. So let's see the shine on those. I mean, it makes my hand look wet. And as you can see, the color of Wildflower is very, very sheer, even compared to the Elf one there. So it's, See that glacier color, how it just blings because of all those tiny particles. Love it. And then this one here is the most, the most shiny, juicy, plumping look, plump looking. It doesn't, there's none of these are like plumping. None of them have like spicy feelings. <laughs> um, this one is the most plumping, the most juicy, the most everything. If you don't have this one in your collection already, you need to get this one out of all of these. This is the one you need to get. It's not my favorite, but this is the one that's like the staple top juiciest, non-sticky, non-gloopy um, lip gloss. And that is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. I have the shade behind the scenes, which is the clear one. And I'm going to put it right next to that ColourPop one that had all of that shimmer in it. Now, this one is kind of a mix between a gel and an oil. Let me show you if I can. It kind of drips almost when you're taking it out. It is a lot thinner and more oily kind of of a formula, but it it has more of a gel texture once it's on your lips to where it doesn't move around or anything like that too much. You know what I mean? So Oh, this is the Essence one, and right there is the ColourPop one. Look at how ridiculous, and you can even like, oh gosh, it just wants my face. You can see like the edge of the gloss, how it builds that like barrier around your lips. So you can see the, you know, ones in the middle there are super glossy and wet looking, but like that Essence one just at the bottom is just ridiculous. Re ridiculous so here they are again but yeah these these are the tops baby I would say if you only want to get one the essence one for sure yes if you have not tried this get this one just get it it's like five bucks just get this and then gosh I think my next one would have to be the Maybelline lifter gloss honestly because this one to me feels so comfortable. I could almost use this in place of like, um, you know, like a lip balm. It feels so nice, but it looks so beautiful and glossy on the lips. So I'll give you that, I guess. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, that was a nice little short and sweet video. That's all I have for you about my affordable lip glosses. Uh, if you have any lip glosses that you love that you haven't seen me try on my channel, uh, let me know. I love lip glosses. I am down to try more lip glosses. Um, if you would like to see any of these compared to the ones that I used in my high-end video, let me know. I can make that something. It feels like something that might live on like Instagram though, something short and sweet. But if you want to see me like do a dupes video and include some of these lip glosses, let me know. Let me know. All right. Yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.